every generation, men are made and raised to become the mouthpiece of God. In this generation, God has sent the man, Reverend Emeka Eze, with the word of grace to raise men, adding beauty to their lives and color to their destinies. Now, let's receive the ministry of God's servant, Reverend Emeka Eze. Say to two persons close to you, Welcome to the month of March. Say to the person, it is your month of favor. Say it again. Then say to somebody close to you, three persons, it is my month of favor. If you believe me, shout glory. Take your seats. God spoke to us that March is a month of favor. It may not matter what is going on in the nation. I decree God will allow you to enjoy favor in your life. Receive favor in your life. Favor in your family. Favor in your business. Favor in your job. Favor in your career. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 30 verse 5. For his anger endured but for a moment. In his favor is life. For his anger endured for a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. It may not matter the challenge you are going through, joy is coming. Say to somebody, joy is coming. If you believe it, shout a loud amen. amen. Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He led me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The oil of favor, part 1c. David said God anointed him with oil. And by the reason of this oil, his cup was not just full. His cup was running over. I'd like to begin by saying to you that people applied oil on their faces and their bodies to avoid having dry skin and dry faces. Especially women. You see women put oil on their face. One, to avoid dry skin. Two, to avoid breakage. Others do so to enhance their beauty. If you see women put oil on their face, if you want to marry, don't marry when the person has made up. Oh. Check the person out early in the morning when there is no makeup on the face. Because their makeup will change them. Women, I hope you are not angry. Face at Fisher. Hair at Fisher. Height at Fisher. Some people are tall, though, but by the time they pull their shoe, hmm. Say to somebody, hmm. Say to somebody, hmm. So you saw the girl, you love her, you talk to her, say, man, this girl get high too. By the time she removes something under, hmm. Say to somebody, hmm. And the person will make up, and you see the person very fine. When she watches the makeup, hmm. You didn't say the hmm well, say hmm. So when they put the oil, you see the face glowing. And when they wash the oil, hmm. Now, others do so to enhance their beauty and increase their natural attractiveness. Look, if you are a lady, make yourself look attractive. A woman will marry you. By the time you will not look like as if you are 50 years old, who will marry you now? Holiness does not make somebody look ugly. If our holiness will make you look fine, but you turn yourself to a man, you, woman, turn yourself to a man, 
So who go marry you now? Na man? Uh -huh. You just saw yourself to a man. Oh, your face look empty. Everywhere, just broom. You bob your hair, your hair comes small. <laughs> if you bob your hair, don't be angry. <laughs> but look fine. So women add this oil to look attractive, and it's good. Oil can also be applied to metals to avoid rust. Metal, you see people add oil to avoid rust. Oil equally adds, acts as anti-aging substance. People use oil, they look younger, and it's good. You look, people, look, see, you know one thing I'm, sometimes I laugh some people. You just simply say, do you know how old I am? Me. <laughs> I don't talk those things, so. I'm not old, I'm young. Do you know that? I'm not old, I'm young. I'm getting younger every day. Become Methuselah, I will give it to you. But my father taught me that they drag age two times. When the person is young, by the time you say you are very young, say, no, I'm old, oh. <laughs> I'm old. Young people, you see the young people, you see their beers. What are they trying to, they want to look old. Then my father taught us that when you are now old and somebody died, they say, daddy, that person that died is your age, oh. You say, no, that man's senior me. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to die. By the time the man is getting old, when you are not saying you are old, you say no. No, 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 that, those people, they are ahead of us. Now, let's come back. People use oil to make their age look good, anti-aging substance. So we're trying to say that oil is very important in human beings. It's important to human beings. It has been proven that oil is effective in many ways. Now, the same way oil is very important to human beings naturally, the same way the oil of favor is important to a Christian. And that's why the Bible says where we read in Psalm 30 verse 5, that in his favor is life. Which means God is saying, my favor is all equal to life. Where there is no favor, life becomes very difficult. Where there is no favor, life becomes challenging. And that is why we are talking about the oil of favor. And David said, when he anointed my head with oil, my cup was running over. Now I decree today, in this season, may the oil of favor come upon you. Amen. In this season, may God favor your family. Amen. In your business, favor will locate you. Amen. Now what is favor? Favor is an act of kindness beyond what is due, beyond what is usual, beyond what is normally expected. I come again. Favor is an act of kindness beyond what is due, usual, or normally expected. So favor is something done out of goodwill rather than justice. What is favor? Favor is the flavor of life. Favor is the flavor of life. Say to somebody, favor is the flavor of life. In the absence of favor, life will have no flavor. It's like cooking food without flavor. It's like bringing drink without flavor. One of the things that adds beauty to any drink is the flavor of the drink. So when life lacks flavor, it becomes empty. This season, your life will not be empty. Amen. I say your destiny will not be empty. Amen. Don't live like a destiny to have a destiny. It does not matter where you were born or how you were born. But I can assure you that my God gave you a, gave you a destiny. Amen. Say to somebody, I have a destiny. And because you have a destiny... There is a future for you. So you have a future and not a funeral. In the name of Jesus. What is favor? Favor is the supernatural grease of life. We have said that the oil is very important to human body. It can help your body not to suffer breakage. It can help your body not to be dry. So also, the oil of favor is the supernatural grease of life. When favor comes upon you, it becomes a grease to your life. To avoid rust, to avoid friction. The reason they use grease in automobile is to avoid friction. Mechanics use grease. When two irons come together and you apply grease, the movement will be smooth. I decree today, by the reason of God's favor, your movement in life will be smooth. By the reason of God's favor, your ministry will be smooth. By the reason of God's favor, your destiny will be smooth. By the reason of the favor of God, your journey in life will be smooth. Every 
every time we anoint people with oil, that oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not oil. The Holy Spirit is not water. It's not fire. But the oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. So the oil of favor is the concentrated presence of God upon a man. So David was saying, God gave me his presence. And by the reason of his presence, I will not be in lack. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Leketoro Bodeshabadesh. In Psalm 23, he said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. I decree in this season, God will give you overflowing blessing. In the name of Jesus. The whole world is going through economic recession. The harder men try to come out, the deeper they are plunged into it. Today, there is so much hardship, harsh economic conditions, poverty, wickedness, and terror in the world as never before. But in Christ, you have nothing to fear. God sent me to announce to you that no matter the poverty, no matter the wickedness, no matter the harsh economy, no matter the hardship, no matter the terror, the wickedness in the world, for your own case, your case is different. <laughs> I like the way this guy smiles. Smile because all is well. Tell somebody close to you, relax, all is well. Why does that say so? In 2 Corinthians 2 14, look at what Paul said. Now, thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph. Paul said, God will always cause you to triumph. The word triumph means to win. You will not just win, you are a double conqueror. So the battles around Jesus won for you. In advance, he won for you. May I declare now, by the reason of the favor of God, there will be food in your table. Amen. Your hands will not be empty because my God will put money in your hands. And money will meet money in your hands. Your bank account will not be empty. Your house will not be empty. Your kitchen will not be empty. Your own life will not be empty. I am trying to say, in this season, you will not be a victim. You will be a victor. You have a future and not a funeral. Even though the enemy come on every side, listen to me. If the enemy gives you a punch, don't fall with your face. Fall with your back. If you fall with your back, you can look up. And if you can look up, you can rise up. Say to somebody close to you, in my case, there is a lifting up. The Bible says in Proverbs 4.17, the path of the just is like a shining light. Do you know why the Bible says the path of the just is like a shining light in Proverbs 4.18? He was trying to say, there is no better yesterday for you. Every day will be a plus. Which means God is saying, I will take you from glory to glory. I will take you from testimony to testimony. I will take you from breakthrough to breakthrough. I will take you from open door to open door. I will take you from one miracle to one miracle. So no matter the pressure that is in the world, you will be exempted. Say to somebody, in my case, all is well. In my case, all is well. Take your seats. The same way people apply oil in their bodies to avoid dry skin, to avoid breakage, we need the oil of favor to navigate the challenges and hardship in our society. In the kingdom of God, every success story contains favor. Question is, since God is talking about favor, what is the essence of favor? Why favor? In first service, we said, favor provokes miracles, signs, and wonders. Don't wait for miracles to happen. Cause the miracle to happen. The Bible says, in Acts 5.12, 
By the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. So you are the one that will work out miracles. In your business, go and work miracles. In your family, work out miracles. In your job, work out miracles. The miracle is in your mouth. The miracle is in your hands. What is the essence of favor number two? Favor grants access. In second service, we said, the world call it contact, but the church call it access. You don't need man to give you contact. The anointing of God upon you will open doors for you. We took time to look at the life of Joseph. Look at the life of Daniel. If you read the book of Daniel chapter 5 from verse 10, you will see that Daniel was relevant among four administrations. Everybody looks for him. Everybody looks for him. And people will say, we heard that God is with you. Joseph, uncle. Everywhere Joseph went, things prospered because the Spirit of God was in him. So the favor of God is the concentrated presence of the Almighty resting upon you. That causes things to happen around you. I now decree, everywhere you are, things will happen around you. Amen. Everywhere you are, there will be success. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. now I declare, may my God give you access in this season. Amen. Access to the kingdoms. Amen. Access to the king. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The essence of favor number three for this service. Favor distinguishes a man from his peers. Favor distinguishes people. In Genesis 39, verse 21, the Bible says, But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy. Kayaya. And gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. He did not suffer what others are suffering. So even if you find yourself in a dungeon, all you need is mercy. By the reason of favor, nobody can kidnap you. Yeah. By the reason of favor, nobody can take your life. Yeah. By the reason of the message of God, your head is not for sale. Yeah. In Esther chapter 2 verse 10, look at what I want to show you. Esther had not showed herself, her people, nor her kindred. For Mordecai had charged her that she should not show it. And Mordecai walked every day before the court of the women's house to know how Esther did and what should become of her. Now, when every maid turns was come to go into the king, Hazarus, after that, she had been 12 months according to the manner of the women. For so were the days of their purification accomplished. Six months with oil of ma. You see, it's six months with what? Oil of ma. And six months with sweet odor. And with other things for the purification of the women. Oil was still applied. In the evening she, she went. And on the morrow she returned in the second house of the women. To the custody of Shagaz, the king of Chamberlain. We kept the concubines. She came in unto the king no more. Except the king delight in her. And that she were called by name. Now, when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Ahihel, the uncle of Medica, who had taken for her his daughter, was come to go in unto the king, she required nothing. But what Haggai, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women, appointed. And Esther obtained what? Favor in the sight of all of them that looked upon her. So Esther was taken unto King Ahasuerus into his house. Roya in the tenth month, which is the month Tebet, in the seventh year of his reign. And the king loved Esther above all the women. And she obtained grace and favor in the sight more than all the virgins. So he set the royal crown upon her head. I made her queen instead of Vasti. I decree today, may favor distinguish you. Yeah. So favor distinguished Esther among all the virgins. They were all virgins. But the favor of God separated Esther. Favor makes you become outstanding from others. Favor separates a man from the crowd. Wherever you are today, May favor locate you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. 
Myself and First Lady were in an airport. We were in an airport by February last month. As soon as we checked into the airport, I don't know whether that man is a human being or an entity today. I saw a military officer. Just came and said, sir, please give me your bag. I gave my bag. He said, who is this woman around you? I said, that's my wife, my first lady. He said, please follow us. He said, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go to where? I don't know, but I don't ask that question. I don't like asking such questions because there are angels around everywhere you go, all over the world. And the man was carrying the bag and I was following. I said, mama, let's go. And the queue was long. We just everybody said, sir, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. By the time we said, let's go, just let's go. He took me to the end. And I was almost the first person they boarded. And the man said, bye bye. Whether it's an angel or not, I don't know. I decree today, may the favor of God send your angels to you. Yeah. Everywhere you go, listen, by favor, you cannot be stranded. Yeah. Favor qualifies the unqualified. Favor qualifies the unqualified. In First Samuel chapter 16, verse 10, again, Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, the Lord has not chosen this. I don't know how many people that want to run ahead of you. When those people came, Samuel said, the Lord did not choose any of them. And Samuel said, listen, listen, listen. I may not know people that want to outsmart you. When you are carrying the grace of God, nobody can outsmart you. We were somewhere in an airport still. Somebody look at me and say, come here. A man just ran and say, my friend, go back. You are not the one. That man, I say, me says, come, come, come. You, please come. Just pass, go. People think they are smart. Nobody can outsmart a man carrying favor. And someone said unto Jesse, the Lord had not chosen this. Eleven. And someone said unto Jesse, I hear all the children. <laughs> David was not even around at all. Even in absentia, the favor of God will wait for you. No matter how they are in hurry, the system will be on pause. Yes, Hi, yeah, yeah. God sometimes will put system on pause. Someone said to the king, Do you have any other child? All these people have come, but they are not the one. He said, I have. Then Samuel told God, Please put the system on pause. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Look up to the screen. Hear all thy children. And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. The youngest. Are you looking at the screen? There remaineth what? The youngest. So I don't care the, the number you are in the family. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. His business is to be in the bush and carry cattle. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and fetch him. The system was on pause because of favor. For we will not sit down till he comes here. And everybody stood up waiting for David. They will stand up for you. Yeah. And they will wait for you. Yeah. The system will be on pause. They will stand up for you and they will wait for you. I'm not the one that wrote that scripture. It's not me that wrote it too. They stood up in absentia waiting for the king. Why? There is a seed of kingship in him. He was in the bush, but there is a seed of kingship in him. Don't look down yourself. Don't look down yourself. You may be somehow, you may be somewhere, but there is something in you that is crying for expression. There is something in your family that is crying for expression. Some of us did not look it. But the people that didn't look it are the people that become it. The people that looked it did not become it. Some may look useless in the eyes of men, but there are people God have anointed for greatness. Will you say to two persons around you, you are anointed with favor. The father of David did something I didn't like. I didn't like the kind of profile he gave to the boy. The only question Samuel asks is, all these people you brought, God said none of them is the king. Do you see how other children, he could have just said yes. Do you see have another child? Yes or no? He said there remains the youngest. He was disdaining the boy. He was bringing credentials that they didn't ask for. If you go to American embassy anywhere in the world, they will tell you, if we don't ask you for any document, don't bring. He was bringing out documents. Number one credential, he is the youngest. The prophet said, that does not matter. He said number two, he is in the, in the bush. 
taking care of animals. He is taking care of the flock. Is he the type of person that will become the king? But the prophet said, the same man who knew how to take care of animals is the one that can manage human beings. Hey! I am trying to say, no matter how they disqualify you, when the favor of God is upon you, the unqualified will be qualified. Favor qualifies the unqualified. So when you are not qualified before men, that is when God qualifies you. So by the reason of this message, God is saying, throughout this month, anywhere you go, you are qualified. Any business before you, you are qualified. Any job before you, you are qualified. Any promotion before you, you are qualified. Any contract before you, you are qualified. Any blessing before you, you are qualified. Every breakthrough before you, you are qualified. Every open door before you, you are qualified. Glory! Who is this girl? Is that, is, is that the kind of girl we told you to bring? We are talking about somebody who will be this and that. Say, my friend, I'm qualified. Tell us somebody I'm qualified. What qualified you? The grace of God. The grace of God is supernatural ability and meet inability. When you don't have the credentials, yet they say you are the ones. They are trying to run you down, trying to discredit you, trying to lie against you, trying to disqualify you, trying to talk kind of rubbish around you. Don't worry. When the oil of favor is on you, nobody can disqualify you. If you know you are the one God wants to favor, why are you complaining? Why are you discouraged? Why are you complaining? It is because you feel you are not the one. That's why you are complaining. So when they were manipulating in that house, David was in the bush, relaxed. He was too sure that God is for me. He's with me. He's not against me. So as David stood there among his brothers, Samuel took the flax of oil, olive oil, and he, he had brought and anointed David with oil and the spirit of the Lord powerfully upon David from that day. Can you say amen? All right, let's run now. When the oil of favor is upon you, even if you are not qualified, you'll be preferred. When the oil of favor is upon you, no matter the number you are in the queue, it will be your turn. Are you in this room and you have not known Jesus as your Lord and Savior? That is the foundation of God's favor. Can you pray and say, let Jesus come into my heart? Pray with me and say, Lord Jesus, I open my heart to you. I receive you today as my Lord and Savior. I confess my sins to you. I recognize that you came and you died for me. Wash me with your blood. Write my name in the book of life. From today, I will serve you all the days of my life. Give me power to serve you all the days of my life. If you pray this prayer, let me join you to pray now. Precious God, as many who have confessed you as your Lord and Savior, you said as many who receive you, they shall be saved. Lord, I ask, grant them grace to serve you all the days of their life. Watch their sins and write their name in the book of life. For whatever, backward never. Thank you, Lord. I decree this month, every spirit of stagnation around you, let that yoke be broken right now. For more of these messages, worship with Rev. Dr. Emeka Eze this Sunday at the Assemblies of God International Worship Center, 3rd Avenue, Guarimpa, Abuja, in three amazing services. First service, 7 a.m. Second service, 8.30 a.m. Third service, 10 a.m. For more information, prayers, and counseling, call 0803-580-8331 or 0806-743-6385 or 706 406 1365